How's it going, people? <sighs> Look, it's hard being right all the time. In wrestling, most of the stuff I say comes into fruition. And in politics, even though I'm not really a political guy, most of the stuff I've said in past Trump videos has come to to light. I said Trump would ruin America. He would make sure he would break the neck of middle class and poor people. And by God, if he hasn't done it with his Trump care, and if you haven't heard Obamacare, dead. Um, so all the people who vote for Donald Trump and you want Obamacare gone because you didn't like being covered under pre-existing conditions and you were mad that you had to pay out of your taxes to get insurance or had to pay a low deductible. <coughs> well, your wish has been granted by corporate evil in the pocket of insurance company douchebags. And I'm not just saying Republicans, but also Democrats, which brings me well, before I get to the main topic of the video, Paul Ryan, eight years ago, he said that we shouldn't pass Obamacare, which, let's be honest, Obamacare was a revised version of Romney Care, which Mitt Romney hated, which is the, the irony. It's your bill, but you hate it because it was turned to not give all the money to insurance companies it allowed people to get a little lower taxes or a um, little lower insurance premiums so obviously you hate it because you're in the pocket of the insurance company but anyway eight years ago he said we shouldn't pass obamacare because it's being rushed we should read through all the pages blah 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 come to today let's rush this bill through we don't know how much it's going to cost. We don't know what it's going to do. Let's just rush it, rush it, rush it, rush it. Anyway, that gets me to the person that's in charge of or over my congressional district, Jody B. Heiss. Jody B. Heiss is a scumbag, a literal scumbag that has killed my grandmother. And I don't mean that figuratively. I literally mean that because this Trump bill, it eliminates people with pre-existing conditions like HIV, AIDS, acid reflux, acne, ADD, addiction, Alzheimer's, and just a arthritis, asthma, Barcel. Bipolar, blood clot, breast cancer, bypass surgery, Bell's palsy, uh, heartburn, high cholesterol, migraines, pregnancy, sickle cell disease, skin cancer, sleep apnea, sleep disorder, stent, stroke, thyroid, tooth disease, tuberculosis, on and on and on. If you have these, congratulations. You don't have health care. And even like I was reading somewhere, rape, if you've been, if you're a woman or a man and you've been raped and you need medicine to get past that, I didn't really read it uh, all the way through, but all I said it was like, I saw the part about people use medicine to get over the trauma or whatever. If you've been raped, congratulations. You don't get that medicine. You don't get that health care because now it's considered a pre-existing condition who voted for this man who who in Millsville, georgia in my county or the other surrounding districts that he encompasses who voted for this secondly if you have any of these pre-existing conditions how stupid do you feel right now and i don't want to be a bold man too badly but let's read his Thoughts on health care. Since the Affordable Health Care Act, a commonly referred to as Obamacare, became law, millions of Americans have lost their health care plans. The irony, the irony in this sentence alone, millions have lost their health care. Well, 
24 million people will lose their health care thanks to you. The changes <coughs> have collapsed. Premiums have skyrocketed. We'll get to that. Increasing the access and improving the quality of health care in America. Obamacare has stated, has instead increased taxes. We'll get to that later. Destroyed jobs. We'll get to that. And grown the national debt. So, first of all, two things here. They destroyed the jobs and grown the national debt. You do know, Jody, Jody B. Heist, you do know people have Google and the internet, and we can see that those two things have not happened. But it's classic Republican lying to stupid Republican voters. Anyway, in 2017, Georgia has seen their, we'll see their insurance premium jump double by double digits. I can't. Who, who believes this bullshit? Many insurance companies, carriers, insurance carriers pull out of the Obama care exchanges, including Humana. Humana. As we enter the sixth year of Obama, it is clear that this law is coming off track, man. Hurling towards the unmitigated disaster that Congressman Heist hit a rise heist predicted years ago. Congressman Heist remains committed to repealing and replacing Obamacare. As we work to re eliminate Obamacare's disastrous policies, we must work. We also we all we must also work to address the serious challenges that existed in our healthcare system even before Obama's law came into effect. We need to increase competition to lower healthcare costs by look. I'm tired of reading this shit because I read it beforehand a load of shit. And also, you're really, I'm, I'm talking to Jody B. Hyde. You're really committed to replacing Obamacare. I wonder why I, is it, hmm, could it be that you really care about Americans' health care plans? Or is it the fact that Affleck, one of the top insurance companies in America, donated to your campaign and has donated for your campaign for years on end. I, I, caring about the American people, donations from an insurance company. Also in the bill, it's, it states that, uh, let me get it up right here. I leave and leave all this stuff I'm looking at. It eliminates taxes on health insurance companies pharmaceutical companies, and medical device manufacturers. I, I wonder why you would vote for this bill. I, it's almost like they paid you to do this. It, nah, they, 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 you, you aren't a paid for Republican, are you? Yeah, he, he is. He is. Um, but also, let's get into what this bill also does with pre-existing conditions. Hey, they won't be barred. It's just the fact that, uh, let's see right here, may not be barred from attaining coverage under the new bill. However, their coverage could be seriously affected by this bill. States would be allowed waivers to exempt tax companies from. Oh my God. Really? So. If you want insurance in a pre-existing condition, the insurance companies would get a waiver and kickbacks. Wow. Wow. And let's remember, our representative in Millersville voted for this. The newest bill advocates, allocates Eight billion over five years for states that apply for the waiver to help cover the cost for people with prisons and conditions. Most likely, the states would use this money to help fund a high-risk insurance pool with, for people with high uh, prisons and conditions. Okay, to cover residents. Healthcare mandate. The Trump Care Bill 
will mandate under the ACA that requires people that requires people have insurance or pay a fine. The okay, sorry about that. The Trump Care Bill does away with the mandate under Obamacare that requires people have health insurance or pay a fine. Under the new bill, you won't have to do that. No, for all you people bitching about paying for insurance or getting a fine, now you can go without insurance. But if you let it go for 60 days, you'll be penalized when you join a health care plan. And also your premiums will go up by 30% for one year. So this is what you people wanted. Essential health care benefits under ACA, certain essential benefits, including maternal care, prescription coverage, mental care, may be part of an insurance plan. Under the new Trump care bill, states have to apply so you can get that. Tax credit changes. Under the new bill, qualifications for tax credits to help pay for insurance would change significantly. While the ACA offers a scale of credits that take into account families' income costs insurance, the Trump Care Bill will offer flat tax credits per individual focused on age. So if you're young and healthy, hey, you might get more. If you're old and sickly, you get shit. You get shit. For example, a 64-year-old who makes uh, 25000 $26,000 a year could see a net, a net out-of-pocket increase from 1700 to 14000 while a 40-year-old making the same amount would pay a few hundred dollars more as the tax credits from Obamacare and from 17000 to 2000 So only So the older you are, the more you're going to pay Okay, that's that's really fair. And okay, Medicare. Remember when President Trump said, "Hey, I'm not gonna touch Social Security. I'm not gonna touch Medicare." Well, surprise, surprise, the fuck stick lied. The new bill calls for major changes to the way Medicare is funded. First, the federal support of Hispanic Medicare coverage to those more, earning more than. Is it 133% of the federal poverty level would be rolled back? States that expanded Medicare would no longer receive extra funds for expanded beneficiaries after 2020. So basically, if you have kids and you're under Medicare in 2020, yeah, that shit's gone. Beginning in 2020, federal Medicare funding would be changed to a per capita cap rather than a matching program under which federal government has supply funds based on the number and needs of an enrollment. Additionally, after 2020, states medic state Medicare plans would no longer be required to provide ACA design official benefits, including mercy services, pregnancy, newborn care, prescription drugs, pediatric services, fuck your kids, Capping federal funds for Medicare could have a huge impact on seniors and disabled children who depend on the coverage. Um, and let's see, the chain would reduce Medicare by 88, $880 billion. Wow. But there are, there are supposed to be no changes to Medicare. Last one. Older adults versus younger adults. Under the ACA, insurance company may charge an older person no more than three times, three times its premium for a younger person with an identical plan. The new bill will increase the maximal allowable ratio to five to one. So under Obamacare, you can charge them three times. But under... <laughs> Under Trump Care, if you're older, you get charged. Wow, Jody Heist. It's going to save Americans millions of dollars and you're going to have the best health care. You fucking liar.
Who voted for this piece of shit? <coughs> and let me see. Also in the bill, it eliminates a 3.8% tax that applied to capital gains, dividends, and interest income for families over for families with 250,000 or more in income, 125,000 for singles. It eliminates a 0.9 tax on wage income in excess of 250,000 a year, 200,000 for elementary people. It eliminates taxes, like I said, on insurance companies, pharmaceutical. So, in all this thing that Jody B. Heist has written on his bullshit healthcare thing on his website is classic Republican smoke and mirrors. He's in the pocket of big insurance, probably farmer too, and he just won Obamacare out of the way so he could pass so Trump and him could pass this ridiculous bullshit bill that not only screws over the American people, it screws over senior citizens people with prisons and conditions. I seriously people, if anybody from Million see this video, just and you voted for Jody B. Heist, I'm not even talking about Trump because we're gonna have to deal with him for four years unless he gets impeached or something very wonderful happen. Please in 2018 make sure that you are able to vote and get Jody B. Heist, the same man that got rid of your health insurance if you have any one of these listed pre-existing conditions or if you're a senior citizen, he increased your insurance rate five times, five, five times, five times, five times, five times, five times. He, he increased it by five times. All while on the guys are saying, I'm going to help the little guys. I'm going to lower health care costs. Bullshit. This man increased it by five times on the most elderly and obviously the more sicker people in America. Bullshit. Complete bullshit. Um, and also, last thing, if you're if you're still one of these Republican Trump trolls or just any a guy that just loves anything Republicans do and you don't make over 25000 how do you feel that you don't want, you no longer have health care and if you sign up for health care after 30 days you will be 30% more taxed or pre your premium will go up by 30 more percent how do you feel can you I would be missed if somebody can defend this are you would you be happy I, I, I just don't know all I know is Jody B. Price needs to go. He needs to go the next election. I didn't vote for him, and I I don't understand the people in military in my time who vote. Who voted for this man? I, I just don't. I, I mean, I guess if you make over 20, 250000 a year, I understand your reasoning. But for the rest of us who work, or not, not really, well, anyway, for the working class, who do this? How could you vote for this man? How could you? How could you vote for Republicans? They have a systematic, like history. I'm not saying like Democrats are any better because they're basically just like Republicans. At least it's a little lighter. Republicans, conservative Republicans, have a history of shitting on middle class, working people, and poor people. It's it's in the documents. It's online. Why do you people keep voting for these asshats? I don't even. It's because of white. Is is that it? Is that it? Is that it? People in Middleville who voted for this. Is it because the guy's white? I hate to say that shit, but it's got to be. It's got to be because the man's white. And he said so. I, I don't understand. How did you vote for this act? Jody Price, please join me. 2018, vote this asshole out of fucking office, please. I cannot believe it. I can't believe this man had the gall to post his bullshit on his art on his page. I'm going to help, and, and then he passes this fucking bill. The, the, 
the nerve of this fucking asshole. Get this fuck out of office. Jody Price needs to go 2018. I, I will say, I, I'm, I'm, oh my God. Oh, we we need to increase competition to lower healthcare costs. Wow, increase competition because you're paid for by insurance companies. It made sense, but fuck you. Fuck. Anyway, tell me your thoughts on this new, this death sentence of Trump care. Let me say everything I've talked about is in the description. Um, fuck Jody Heist. Um. Fuck Trump, fuck Paul Ryan, fuck Trump here, and um, fuck anybody who defends this shit. Like, I, like I said, I understand you make over two hundred fifty thousand. You're gonna look out for you, and I guess it's hey, fuck everybody else. You got you need insurance. Fuck you. That's I guess that's that's their thought plan. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.